What's up, guys? So we are in Tongyang. Tongyang is where, uh, what do you call? Major Yi Sunshin was fighting for protect our country, and he won and won and won over and over again. He's our hero. Um, this place is actually quite a historical, and they are uh, his, 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 historical. His, yeah, what do you say? Why? Historical. That's what I said. Historical. The other thing is really famous from Tongyang is their oyster. In Korea, when you're crossing the street, you if you hesitate, you die. This one right here. This one. This one right here. This one right here. Mm. <laughs> 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 간장으로 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 So this is actually kind of a horse meal, I would say. About $15 per person. And it comes out that um, anchovy sashimi salad, oyster pancake, and pan fried fish with the sauce, and the oyster rice in hot stone top. Mm. And all the side the dishes. Ready, this go. is a really good deal per person. Mm. How much we are paying for it? Really good deal. It's an anchovy sashimi. Have you had the anchovy sashimi before? <laughs> Me either. What is that one? I think it is, is mushroom. Stir fried mushrooms. A lot of the dishes coming with it. And this is the same seaweed that we make kim. Kim is like this kind of seaweed. It's a flat out and dry. And this one is just fresh. And they just make a salad out of it. Cabbage salad with ketchup and mayonnaise mixture dressing. Safest dish on the plate. Okay. And this is anchovy. Anchovy stir fried a little spicy. And this is their kimchi. And pickled onion and chili. Spinach. Spinach. The spinach looks really good. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be good. And lastly, radish side dish. We call mukche muchim. I actually have a recipe for that. And spinach recipe. Pickled onion recipe. Kimchi. Go ahead and check kimchi recipe. Go ahead and check it out. And this is a bean sprout soup. I actually want to try that one. Anchovy sashimi salad. I've never tried this before. So, melchi huemuchim. Chan! Mm, mm, mm. Oh, it's good. I love that radish. Super crunch. It's good. Actually, it is good. Honestly, it's very hard to taste the anchovy because the sauce is quite strong. I think it's my mind stricken on it. Ah, I taste now. But that's anchovy flavor, not fish. Let's try the oyster pancake. I can't wait for that one. It's on our face. <laughs> Mmm, it's like full of oyster. This is good. Mm. Oyster pancake has a green onion, carrot, onion. This is really good with this pickled, pickled onion and the radish and chili pepper. Mmm. Hi, grilled fish. Pan fried fish with spicy soy sauce. It's like oyster bibimbap. They serve with soy sauce, sesame oil, sesame seeds, green onion, and chili pepper mixture to add it to the hot pot. Instead of a gochujang, this is the sauce. Add as much as you want, and then mix it. I suggest, with me doing this a few times, add like one or two spoonful, and then try it, and then if you want to add more, add more. Yeah. So you don't get like too salty and all that. The best part? It's this crunch, crunch rice when you're eating stone pop bibimbap. So I want to show you guys that. So this oyster bibimbap has um, obviously a lot of oysters. <laughs> really a lot. Bean sprouts, some mushrooms, and some king, the roasted seaweed. Mm. Mm. 
and the oysters in here are like cooked perfectly. It's almost like before they come, they're almost like uh, undercooked a little bit so then they can like finish mm -hmm. cooking in the stone pot. Yeah. And mix together with all the rice. And then right now it's like perfect texture. And you get a spoonful and you get like two or three oysters on it. And believe it or not guys, this stuff is delicious for breakfast. It really does. It really does. I love the texture between of um, the chewy rice and the oyster flavor mm. and a slightly crunchy bean sprout and super crunch rice, the little burnt rice on the bottom, all then mixed together with the sesame oil fragrance and oyster fragrance all together. It's very, very good. You can also tell how fresh it is because the oysters aren't overpowering strong or anything. It's a very mm -hmm. subtle, super fresh meaty taste. Mm -hmm. It's sour. Tastes really good. Super sour. That's sour? Yeah. It looks quite oily, oh, didn't you? But sour in a good way. Yeah. Mm. It makes it pucker. That is the kimchi you want to make. Kimchi fried rice or kimchi chicken with. Mm. I think I like the rice the best. It's kind of hearty, has the, all the oysters inside, so it's really good with the bean sprouts and the seasoning, it's good. The pancake is really good too. You cannot really taste the food with small bites. Isn't it more delicious when you're putting a lot of food in your mouth when it's about to blow up and you just are like, chew it and chew it and chew it. And just your mouth is full of food. Like it is right now. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give us thumbs up and if you love oyster, definitely give us thumbs up and comment down below, let me know if you want to see those recipes of oyster pancake and the oyster rice, let me know, I will definitely make that happen. And yeah, thank you so much and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so because we will welcome you to the club, you know what I mean? So yeah, we'll see you next time. Bye guys! Bye!